good morning and uh, welcome to this session of virtual classroom project it's a web initiative of department of geology government vyt pg autonomous college durg today we will be discussing a topic called metamorphic differentiation this is dr srinivas deshmukh from department of geology government vyt pg autonomous college durg this topic is in the syllabus of uh, msc second semester geology and the paper is metamorphic petrology basically the process by which minerals from a chemically uniform rock separate from each other during the uh, metamorphism and they form individual layers within a new metamorphic rock this process is called metamorphic differentiation many lyses and few varieties of schists they show compositional banding or layering and these bands or layers uh, have dark colored layer consisting of uh, ferromagnesian minerals and uh, light colored layers made up of parzo felspathic material so development of such compositional layering or banding is referred to as metamorphic differentiation several mechanisms are proposed for the process of metamorphic uh, differentiation these are preservation of original compositional layering transposition of uh, original bedding solution and reprecipitation preferential nucleation and pigmentation let us uh, try to understand these mechanisms one by one so the first one is preservation of original compositional layering uh, as we find in sedimentary terrains there are uh, sandstone and shell layers alternating each other as are observed in many sedimentary terrains and when they are further subjected to metamorphism and deformation the compositional layering is preserved during the recrystallization of minerals and we observe these compositional layering as uh, are seen in this uh, slide where alternate layers of shell and sandstone they are subjected to metamorphism and uh, stress so they give rise to alternate layers of mica schist and quartzite another mechanism is transposition of original bedding the original bedding gets transposed as seen in this slide in the initial stage a new foliation begins to develop in the rock as a result of compressional stress at some angle to the original bedding and when the minerals they grow along this uh, foliation they begin to break up into from the original beds into small pods these pods they are compressed and extended recrystallization and they could eventually intersect again to form a new compositional band parallel to the new foliation giving rise to another mechanism of uh, metamorphic differentiation transposition of original bedding original compositional layering could be transposed uh, transposed to a new one more mechanism is solution and reprecipitation as we observe in the fine grained metamorphic rocks there are some small scale folds which we call kink bands they often develop in these rocks as a result of uh, compressional stress so a new foliation begins to develop along the axial planes of these folds and quartz and feldspar they get dissolved as a result of pressure solution and be uh, it can be reprecipitated at the hinges of the folds where the pressure is lower 
and what happens is we finally get alternate bands of micaceous minerals and quartz of feldspathic minerals in this slide we can see the granulation cleavage and uh, uh, the product final product is mica rich limbs and quartz rich hinges as can be seen in this slide one more mechanism of uh, metamorphic differentiation is preferential nucleation during the metamorphism the fluids present in the rock they have the capacity they have the ability to dissolve the minerals and transport the ions from one place to another place so felsic minerals could be dissolved from one part of the rock and they preferentially nucleate and grow in other part of the rock to produce discontinuous layers of alternating felsic and mafic compositions giving rise to uh, alternate layers of mafic and felsic minerals thus the final product is uh, metamorphic differentiation pigmentites are a classical example of uh, metamorphic differentiation pigmentites are formed from the partial melting of the original rock and due to this partial melting of the original rock we get felsic melt which migrates uh, and crystallizes in the form of pores and layers in the metamorphic rocks many times these rocks pigmentites they exhibit various folds like stigmatic folds here we can observe the metamorphic differentiation as different layers of dark colored and light colored minerals in these two photographs these are the references used for the preparation of this presentation thank you